Hi and welcome to this small new discourse of our new C6 series. The first episode of our series will deal with the basic measuring principle of our sensors. Although there are numerous of them, we have chosen the so-called laser triangulation principle. So why did we do that? This is what we will explain to you in this video. But first of all, for you to know as a little appetizer, we are the global leaders in laser triangulation. Did you know that? But let's start with the benefits of this technique first. The absolute plus point of the laser triangulation is the speed with which objects can be scanned. Then you also have the possibility to scan through shiny or even transparent objects. You can further regulate the laser intensity. The system is suitable for all industries due to its design. And it's also easy to integrate into existing processes. With this technology, our 3D sensors are used in various manufacturing processes in numerous industries for the purpose of quality control, for example. So let's take one sensor of our wide 3D product portfolio with a triangulation measurement principle. Here we have a sensor module, for example, in which a camera with an image sensor is located. This image sensor captures the laser line generated by the laser module, which is reflected from the target to be scanned. This angle of the sensor module, the laser module and the target resembles a triangle and gives this measurement method its name. All right, now you know how the principle works. So it's time to give you a deeper insight into the process now. The combination of the geometry of the sensor and the built-in optics results in the so-called X field of view. This X field of view can be further subdivided into a near X field of view and a far X field of view, which define the upper and the lower limits of the entire field of view. The distance between these two limits is called the Z range. And in the middle of these two limits, you will find the nominal X field of view. The distance between the X field of view and the sensor housing is called the working distance. The relevant target surface should be at the nominal working distance for achieving the best results. The sensor module, which contains the image sensor and optics, captures the laser profile and generates a 2D image. The resulting sensor image is evaluated by the embedded processor using a variety of algorithms. But this is something that we will present to you in another video. With the help of these algorithms, the sensor image is converted into a single height profile. By moving the target under the laser line with a certain speed, multiple height profiles can be acquired. The complete height image containing a certain number of height profiles is output from the sensor and can be analyzed with the help of external software. So that was a small excerpt from the laser triangulation measuring principle. Detailed information can be found online in our product documentation. Besides general information, you will find model specific information about our 3D and also about our infrared product portfolio. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you won't miss any other video then. Many thanks, hope to see you soon and goodbye.